So, so you know, that's what we're saying. It's not like um, it's not ungrateful. So it's grateful, but also knowing there's always more God to be revealed. There's always more of God's love to come forward in our life. There's always more of God's creative expression and abundance that could actually come forward into our life. You know, to go around being negative is not a special skill or talent. I know many people think it is, you know. They say, well, I'm a realist. It's like, no, you are a big negative Nelly is what you are. <laughs> and God cannot bring a greater good into your life when you are negative and have a lousy attitude. I'm sorry. It just doesn't work that way. You know, that we cannot look at the world out here to determine how we are doing, right? You know, how, we can't look at the world out here to determine how we feel or, or how we think about ourselves or how we think about life. Out here is always a reflection of in here. You know, listen, listen to these words of George Bernard Shaw. Progress is impossible without change. Those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. Kind of sounds like science of mind, doesn't it? You know, that if you can't change your mind, you can't, so you can't really change anything. So what needs to change in your mind, I'm asking you today, what is it that needs to change in your thinking for a greater good to be revealed in your life? Because I believe God is ready, the infinite principle, power, and presence of the universe is ready to bring a greater good, to reveal a greater good in our life right now. But something's probably got to change in our mind. Something's probably got to change in our thinking. You know, in the evolution of consciousness, Buddha taught what, he, what was called the middle way. It was not extreme asceticism, and it was not extreme indulgence of the senses. It was this middle path, and it was a program for liberation from suffering, and, and that program was known as the Eightfold Path. And what it included were, were um, actions uh, of, of, of right view and right thought and right speech, right action, uh, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, right concentration. Right? And so this was great because people could get liberated by following this plan. Now, Jesus comes 500 years later, and he teaches some very similar things. There are a lot of beautiful um, similarities between Jesus' teaching and the Buddha's teaching. And then, and then he teaches some other things. And so one of his greatest teachings, Jesus' greatest teachings, is around the kingdom of heaven. And he says the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And the kingdom of heaven is within you. Wow, that's big. That's really big that you can have heaven here and now. That you don't have to die to get there. Isn't that extraordinary? I think that's just the most amazing thing. Because I always thought you didn't get heaven until you died. You know, that was the carrot at the end of the stick. But Jesus says, no, 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 the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is within you. You know, it is not your, um, your earthly life here and, you know, and your life in heaven when you die. And so Ernest Holmes really understood this teaching of Jesus because he said there's only one life. It's not, and what he means is that your life doesn't stop when you die and then something else starts. It's the same life. There is only one life. And this life, this life that we are living right now is God. This life is perfect, and this life is my life right now. So Ernest really understood the deepest revelations of Jesus, that you can have heaven here and now. You can go from good to better to best in your life now, that your success does not take anything away from anyone else. And people so often think it does. They think, well, if I'm really happy, you know, if I, if I, um, if I redo my kitchen, my best friend neighbor is going to be really upset because they can't afford to redo their kitchen. You know, that, that your happiness does not take away from someone else. Your health does not take away from somebody else. Your fulfillment does not take away from anyone else. God's good is infinite. 